Yo, what is going on, guys? JD McGree here, and today we're back with some more Katoi Shoujo. Last time we left off, me, well, us and Lily finally decided that uh, we're going to confess. And we did, and we banged on the floor with Hanako sleeping in the room right fucking next door to us. So, we are currently, I think, at um, Lily's family's, like, summer home out in the countryside. So, that's where we're picking up from. Go, uh, let's load gray outlook. <clears throat> after, be woken, bleh, after being awoken by a sound, I open my eyes with a measure of reluctance. Turning my head to the left, I find the rain outside sweeps against the windows loudly. Spray after wind blown spray lashes against the glass, as if trying its hardest to make up for the summer's previous heat. I sit up in the futon, holding the back of my neck to try and subdue the pain from my awkward sleeping position. By all accounts, I should be lamenting the turn in the weather, given that this is our last day here. The events of yesterday refuse to stop flooding into my mind, though. The feeling of holding Lily's crying body in her arms, the rush of lust and hormones that flowed through us as we spent the night together. It seems almost futile to try and rationalize anything that happened. In an attempt to distract myself, I groan and lean over to re retrieve my bag without standing. Pulling out one bottle after another, I take the daily regime regimens worth of pills from their containers and swallow them down without further ado. <clears throat> it took a surprisingly short amount of time to get used to swallowing pills without water. That said, I suppose the same thing goes for getting used to living in a school for disabled students. Remembering Yamaku, I become all the more grateful for having the chance to get away, even if it's just for the shortest of times. I appreciate the chance to spend time alone with Lily and Hanako, away from the bustle of school life, even considering the latest complications. I never thought I'd say it, but the idea of living away from the city's night but the idea of living away from the city in a nice tranquil area is an inviting one. It's a thought that, barely a year ago, would have seemed simply ludicrous. A flash of pink, no doubt Hanako's gown, peeks from around the corner. Realizing I must look a, look a sight since I've only just woken up, I slap the remaining pill into my mouth and run a hand through my hair. Good morning, Hiso. Ah, uh, good. Ah! I reply to her, completely forgetting that I'm in the middle of swallowing, swallowing a particularly large pill, coughing and spluttering. I violently, violently gag on it. Violently gag on it. Ah, uh, yes, so. After sputtering loudly and tapping my chest a couple of times to force it down, I managed to recover. I'm fine. Sorry, forgot I was swallowing. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I hold my hand up gesturing for Hanako to stop. I gagged. It's my fault. Morning, Hanako. She pauses a moment before bowing in reply. Walking, walking, no, staggering in behind Hanako, is the familiar figure of Lily, also dressed in her pajamas. With her eyes full of sleep and hair bedraggled, she's a sight to behold. Hi, Lily. Good morning, Hisao. For a while, a silence hangs in the air as neither of us knows what to do. Given what happened last night, we both have more than enough reason to be fine in the situation awkward. Just how are you meant to react to meeting each other after something like... that? The best course of action would probably be to talk to Lily alone, to set things in order. Um, I'll start making breakfast. Lily evidently catches on to my train of thought. I'll help you. Anako, could you set the table? She nods, her head disappearing into, the cup into a cupboard as she quickly goes about her assigned task. I rub a little more sleep out of my eyes as I wander over to the fridge and take out some milk, and Lily grabs various brightly colored boxes from some of the lower cupboards to my side. While we make the rather bland looking meal, I whisper something I whisper somewhat more quietly than usual. Knowing Lily's hearing, she won't have any trouble catching what I say. <clears throat> Are you okay, Lily? After last night. She gives a delicate nod, her expression weak. Though her tiredness surely plays a part, she seems genuinely unsure about what's happened between us, and how to move ahead. I can't say I blame her, considering my feelings are the same. I'm sorry, Hisao. I wasn't thinking straight yesterday. I never stopped to consider you or Anako, and I even went as far as... She's winding herself up. With her hands and voice both tightening, I give her a gentle bump to try and lighten up the situation. You don't have to apologize. I said I liked you as well, after all. But... I... As her composure begins to falter, it becomes obvious there's no other alternative. 
Turning to Lily, I gently embrace her tall frame. She offers no resistance at all, thankfully pulling back just from the edge of her emotions. Despite our reassuring embrace lasting only a matter of seconds, I notice Hanako wordlessly watching. The plate in her hand hovers inches above the table, her action halted by halted midway by the sight. <laughs> the clatter of utensils against plates is the only sound to be heard as we silently eat, whereas before only two of us may have been unsure of ourselves, the entire situation has changed. After weeks of blissful friendship, whiling away the days with shared meals and chatter with little meaning, the relationship of Lily and me, no, that all of us, has irreversibly changed. I can't take this. Lily... She solemnly nods, gently laying her spoon onto the plate in front of her. Neither of us knows exactly how we regard each other, let alone how Hanako would view us. And this might be a bit abrupt, but I've confessed to Hisao. For a moment, Hanako looks almost confused, precisely the reaction I thought she would have. She eventually nods, her spoon still in her mouth as she does. Did you accept? I did. She gives a smile so large and so earnest I find myself blushing. I think it's the brightest I've ever seen her expression look. Then I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I'm sorry for not telling you anything about it before. Things have been... Hanako shakes her head from side to side empathetic, empathetically. Oh, emphatically. Apparently forgetting in her rush that Lily couldn't possibly notice. She begins fiddling with her fingers, looking a little more nervous than she did before. To be honest, I began to think you might like each other a while ago. At first I didn't really know what to think about it, but I... I decided in the end that if my friends are happy, then I'm happy. I was really glad to have another friend when we met Hisao, so you find your love through him is even better, right? A feeling of relief at her acceptance of our relationship falls over me like a wave. The same happens to Lily, judging by her expression. Thank you, Hanako. I really appreciate you being so understanding. Lily's voice still sounds slightly apologetic, or at least unsure. This doesn't escape Hanako, who appears lost in thought for a few moments before turning to me. He's out. Do you mind if Lily and I go outside for a bit? Ah, uh, no. Feel free. Hanako? Hanako gets up from her seat, taking Lily's hand and almost dragging her from the table in her excitement. Considering t Lily's typical slow and steady pace, Hanako's haste makes her footing awkward, and she almost loses her balance a couple of times. It's a pretty amusing sight, leaving me wordless as I watch them disappear out the door. It's only now that I realize the rain stopped, being replaced by a sky seemingly all the more vivid and bright to make up for the morning's drab, gray expanse. For Hanako, this must be a pretty big revelation. Lily and I are really the only people she associates with, almost as if we were parents in her own stead. I suppose that might well be the best way to describe the relationship we share. A father, mother, and daughter. All playing around in our little make-believe family as if it could last forever. It might be a strange dynamic, and one that certainly can't last for long. But maybe, just for this one small moment, it's okay. As I stand from the table and go to join Lily and Hanako in the fields outside, I nod to myself in affirmation. This one small moment of happiness, no matter how brief, will last with me. With all of us. Forever. Submerged deep in the hot water, I let a drawn out sigh escape my lips, the feeling of seemingly every muscle in my body relaxing is euphoric. I have no idea how long it's been since I've had a genuine hot bath, but right now I can hardly be bothered trying to remember. Maybe I'm, gi maybe I'm giving the simple fact that for once I get to have a real bath more credit than is due, the chance to just calm down. Allow myself to unwind and have some time to myself is a welcome one. Hanako, Lily, and I wandered about outside, exploring the extent of the surprisingly large tract of land surrounding the house. Then we spent the majority of the afternoon resting, watching television, reading, and playing cards. It may not have been the most exciting finale to the trip, but such tranquil peacefulness is something to savor. Even after we return to school tomorrow, I think I'll remember this little house in Hokkaido for a long time. It's a pity we only have a couple more hours to spend here before going to, get the, before going to get the train back. All I can do is yawn contentedly while I watch the steam slowly rising from the clear water's plastered surface, my eyes eventually locked onto the ceiling. Our exams are imminent. I've barely studied at all for them. On top of that, I don't even know what I'll do after graduation. 
passing exams is all well and good, but to what end? Also now, of all times, I'm getting into a relationship. What the hell am I doing? I guess I shouldn't think like that. What's done is done. Maybe this could be viewed as just another aspect of my new life that I'm working on. I enjoy being, being with Lily, and there's more to life than school and a career after all. As I busily attempt to rationalize all that's happening, I hear a series of raps on the door. I pick myself up and sit upright, trying to figure out the source. Three, no, more, and no less. Oh, three, no more and no less. Light, yet assertive in their tapping, and timed regularly enough to tune a metronome. I'd be extremely surprised if it wasn't Lily. May I come in? Yeah, it's Lily. I'm still in the bath. I'll be out in one sec. I know. The voice coming from the other side of the door freezes me. After a second's thought, I rest on the side of the bath and let my arms dangle over the side. Despite trying my best to play it off, I can't help letting my mind wander. Sh sure, come in. With that, she opens the door, slowly walking into the room and closing it behind her. She looks oddly calm, countering my racing heart. Ah, uh, hey, Lily. Do you mind if I take a bath with you? I don't mind. Go ahead. With a small nod, she begins to lift her sweater off her shoulders, burying her chest little by little. I could do that for you if you'd like. Refused. Why? Her face shows she's not overly comfortable with letting me attend to her. I can't say I blame her. She continues undressing, her shirt and skirt full onto the floor and leaving her in her white lace bra and panties. Eventually, she stands bare in the center of the room. Compared to last time, it's a lot easier to take in her entire figure. It's a wonderful sight. Hisao? Mm hmm? You're thinking perverted thoughts, aren't you? <laughs> Give me a break. You're undressing in front of me. She furrows her brown thought. I guess this would be somewhat more erotic for you than me. Why? Ah. She gives a small, light-hearted chuckle, which seems to settle her nerves a little. <laughs> this is too much for you, Sal. I can come back later. No, no, this is fine. I'm just a uh, bit... well... You're really beautiful, you know. My earnest comment draws a vivid red blush from Lily. His Sal. I give a small grin. She's cute when she's taken off guard. In any case, may I come in? Ah, sure. I lean forwards and take her soft hands in mine, helping her over the side of the bath. She feels out the side of the bathtub and slowly lowers herself in, my breath catching when she sits and leans back onto my front, her legs inside mine. I'd expected her to sit at the other end. Letting out a long breath to calm myself, I rest my arms on the side of the bath as I struggle to control my urges. <laughs> Far from missing the sight of her assets, the feeling of her body against mine is surprisingly relaxing. If Lily's so sensitive to touch, it must be all the more so for her. You run your baths quite hot, don't you? <laughs> a bit. Do you want me to run some cold water to cool it down a bit? She gives a small shake of her head. No, this is fine. Okay. The conversation comes to an abrupt end, silence taking over. A very long and very awkward silence. Maybe this was a bit too... Don't worry, it's okay. The situation only becomes even more awkward. As if to distract herself, Lily runs her free hand over her legs while holding one over her breast for modesty. I sit idly watching the wall ahead of me in the rising steam, every now and again still in a glimpse at her body. The white of her skin glistens as she keeps glistens as she keeps sliding her hand over her legs, their length and tone all the more obvious. You know, compared to Akita, you look a lot more foreign. I took after my mother's side genetically. Akita took after my father's more. I guess that makes sense. How on earth did a native Scot and a Japanese businessman meet anyway? My mother was a journalist. She met my father while she was at, while he was at a conference in Inverness. Ah, I see. Taking after your Scottish side would also explain your height, I suppose. I look back down at her as she nods, and sigh at the ridiculousness of the situation. <laughs> this really is too much, isn't it? <laughs> You're enjoying it though, aren't you? In some ways, yes. I guess things turned out okay in the end. Everything settled down. 
Hanako took our relationship well, that we'll be going back to school tomorrow. Indeed. It's a shame to be going back so soon, but we'll still have our memories of this place. Memories, huh? I suppose so. We'll have to see how everything goes once we get back, but for now, I'm just glad you like me. I've been, wind I've been winding myself up for weeks about that, so I'm thankful for things turning out like this. She nods, leaning into me as we share the warmth of our bodies. I'm not sure whether she'll be okay with it or not, but my temptation rapidly begins to get the better of my self-restraint. <laughs> uh, hey, Lily? Yes? How was it? Last night, that is. She pauses in thought before looking down slightly. A delicate smile finds its way onto her lips as she blushes, her body becoming more relaxed. It's more than enough to answer the question. Even as I give a small nod in response, thoughts of last night run through my mind. Considering the situation, I don't really think anyone would blame me. So, your heart's beating. Her voice cuts off as I delicately place a hand on her thigh. While I'd resisted before, the memory of our first time is enough to make me give in. She lets her body lean into mine without a word of protest, an invitation that I'd be hard put to ignore. I place a small kiss on her neck to accept, before slowly moving my hand over her smooth legs. Hisao, please. Even as she says it, her mouth curls upward into a smile, her tone caught between embarrassment and awkward giggling. Eventually she takes one of my hands in hers, guiding it to her right breast. I greatly appreciate the tentative guidance she's willing to give me. All signs of tension in her body give way. I continue to take in the feeling of her soft skin, redoubled as my other hand slips, bleh, slips between her legs. I wonder if the feeling of my hands on her is exaggerated by her lack of sight, since her other senses are so finely tuned. She does seem to be enjoying it to a surprising extent, after all. It gives me a somewhat odd feeling, but a pleasurable one. It only takes a few minutes before her body starts to squirm ever so slightly, her efforts to stifle her moans becoming obvious as she purses her lips. Her light-hearted whispered protest protestations become noticeably more quiet. This makes me realize that all her squirming against my body has made me increasingly excited as well. Lily. I withdraw my hands to give her adult senses time to respond. Nodding, she shakily stands and offers her hand for me to lead her out of the cramped bathtub. Dang, we're just going at it, huh? She maneuvers herself out of the bath as I do, hands holding each other's. Eventually, I sit beside the bathtub, the two of us fussing around a little until we get comfortable. With a small gasp, desperately constrained to avoid being audible outside, she lowers herself onto me once again. The way she moves makes it obvious that she must still be on the verge of her climax. She slowly starts to move her hips up and down, her tongue finding mine as she holds my face upwards. I, re I realize just now how much pleasure in her excitement. Look, I realize just now how much pleasure in her. Oh, how much pleasure in her has excited me. Hisao, Hisao. Despite her clouded eyes being shut, her tightening grip on my shoulders show that she's me nearing the end of her endurance. As our breathing becomes more and more ragged, I rapidly feel my limit approaching as well. A series of harsh breaths is the only warning before her final gasp of ecstasy, her entire body, body tensing and her fingernails digging into my shoulders. My loins hit hers, both of us frozen against each other in climax. In a few precious seconds, it's all over, Lily slumping forward onto me as I try to regain myself. That was... good. She takes a gobble of air before replying, steadying herself as she nods. Mm. She bows her head down to give me a small kiss, my hand reaching up to hold strands of her disheveled hair as we once again sit in blissful silence. Alrighty. After a chaotic dash to the station and finding our seats in the otherwise deserted carriage, we promptly crashed. Looking at the time, close to midnight, it's a little surprise that few take this particular train. Hanako is fast asleep on Lily's shoulder, and I can only barely muster the energy to stay awake. The excitement we had a while ago probably didn't help. I'd probably be depressed about going back to school if my brain was actually working. As it is, though, the sight of the nighttime scenery scrolling by is surprisingly beautiful. My loud yawn is nearly wall is nearly wholly drowned by the clacking of the track Blech. by the clacking of the train tracks and the old carriages rattling. So tired. 
And <laughs> whose fault is that, Isao? She really does toe the line between insulting and amusing sometimes, though I manage to wring out a weary smile. I look back out the window, my reflection just barely visible on the clear pane. Truth be told, she's perfectly correct. If it weren't for that little interlude a few hours ago, both of us would have a lot more energy. On top of that, we both had to take another bath, very nearly making us late for the train's departure. Yeah, yeah, it was mine. Still, getting to a bath with a guy is a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> Evidently. Sorry, I guess I kind of took advantage of the situation back there. Well, I didn't exactly hate it. As she trails off, I look back to her. My eyes narrow as I see her slightly reddened cheeks and small grin, her mind obviously elsewhere. Say it. I knew the possibility of it happening was there. I knew it. You're just as dirty-minded as I am. She quickly coughs into her free hand, making her disapproval crystal clear. That's a rather cruel way of putting it. Oh, and you would suggest? I merely have a healthy adolescent sex drive. So in other words, you're dirty-minded. Almost seeming to sense the moment, Hanako mumbles softly as she furrows her brow in Lily's lap. Lily's look of disapproval melts away as she gently smiles and strokes her hand on Hanako's long, dark hair. All I can do is watch. Watch and smile. If someone were to ask me when I fell in love with her, I wouldn't be able to answer. The best I'd be able to come up with was, it just happened at some point, but I didn't realize it. If someone were to ask me why I love her, though, then I could answer much more easily. You really love Hanako, don't you? She gives a deep nod, smiling warmly. It's a pity we have to return to school. She seemed so much more relaxed while we were all away. Alright, talk about school or talk about Hanako. Uh... Well, I mean... Just kind of considering how we were kind of talking about Hanako... Because I was thinking the same thing, right? Like, we're kind of like, we're the father, Lily's the mother, and Hanako's like the daughter... That's definitely the kind of impression that I got. So I'm thinking maybe talk about Hanako, especially since it's like, oh yeah, if they were to ask me why I loved her, then I could, you know, answer really easily. And then we immediately, you know, mention Hanako. So I think that's probably what we're going to talk about. Besides, who wants to talk about school? Like after all we went through, we're going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, so how are your exams going? I wouldn't worry. Hanako's been gaining confidence thanks to you, at least for as long as I've known you two. She gives a self-deprecating sigh. I think I merely provided her with company and support. She, since she came to know you, she's opened much more, even to me. I get the feeling she's understanding her influence on Hanako, especially given that before the two came to know each other, Hanako had no friends to speak of. <clears throat> Jesus. The friends I'd had in my previous school fulfilled what I'd expected of them, for the most part simply being there for idle chatter. But in Hanako and Lily, there really feels to be more to the relationship. A part of me envies it, but another can't ignore the fact that the school year will eventually end. After graduation, I really have no idea what Hanako will do. This trip has shown me just how much we've all come to depend on one another. Indeed, we're all going to have to make decisions. Maybe that's the reason why, despite our return to school also heralding the return to the normalcy of everyday life, I can't help feeling a little restless. On the bright side, it won't take long for the summer holidays to arrive after our exams are finished. We could come back here during the summer holidays if you want. For a moment, she thinks on the notion, her face becoming somewhat distant. I can only guess she's reflecting on all that's happened here. That would be good, I think. I nod approvingly, smiling at her. Summer, together with Lily. This idea seems like the perfect way to spend our holiday. Oh, there it is. So I think we have one more. Act four, future. I, I hate to do it to you guys. I know that I've, I know that like, it feels like this is a series that I tend to get out in the shortest amount of time. But I, I gotta, I gotta save here and we gotta go back to the main menu. I know, I know, I know it sucks. But I mean, like, come on next, like next episode, I swear to you. It's going to be a straight shot. We're going to go straight through it. I don't know how long. Well, I don't know if we'll go straight through it. But at the very least, it'll it'll definitely be wrapping us up there. So maybe one or two parts. 
um, for the finale of this. Uh, now, as for my plans, if I'm going to continue playing this game, more than likely I will. I think that for a time being, I'll take a break from it. I'll probably record a couple of individual episodes on whatever next route that I want to take. Um, just for the sake of kind of testing the waters, seeing if it's interesting enough to uh, put back out there for you guys. Yeah, for you guys. For you guys. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see what, what happens next. From, from the bits that I've been spoiled of this game, I know that I think we go on some kind of, like, dinner date next or something along those lines. But, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed this video, or, wait, no, 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 that's the wrong way to do it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and tell me in the comment section below what you'd like to see me play next. If you enjoyed this series or any other videos or series on my channel, then I highly recommend you hit the, hit the subscribe button, I can't talk, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when a new one of those videos comes out. Anyways, that's it from me, and I'll see you in the next one.